this is my look for the Witch of the North. Um, Nor did the Wicked Witch of the West. I did kind of the Good Witch of the North. Um, yes, I know before everybody freaks out, no, this is not an exact, obviously, interpretation of Glinda the Good Witch. It is, however, my interpretation of what I would imagine a Witch of the North would look like if she was a Good Witch of the North. So... I just wanted to do a real fun look with the hair and the makeup and I have to give credit where credit is due. I got this idea and was really inspired by Petrie Lude um, or Josh uh, as some people may know him but I was really really inspired. He did a frozen ice queen kind of look last year at Halloween and I thought it was so amazing and I have just, I've wanted to do it ever since then. So when we started talking about doing this I thought it's my perfect time to do like my ice witch queen kind of look and so i just took the idea and i ran with it i did lots of purples and um lavenders to give a real frozen look i did the sugar on the face which is josh's idea but i think it's so fun um i also went kind of crazy with the hair but i think it's really fun instead of i looked for a crown and couldn't find one that I really liked that didn't look just so dorky. So I decided just to do a real winter skate kind of look in my hair. So I just went to Michael's. Right now they're having all kinds of sales on all of their Christmas stuff, which is crazy because it's just October. But I just bought a bunch of stuff. I mean, most of the stuff, it's like leaves and feathers and like these glittery ferns, these glittery feathers over here. I mean, I think they were like 69 cents a piece. I mean, it was super cheap. And then I just made my hair, I just stuck it up in a bun and made it look kind of like a nest, like a bird's nest kind of. That was kind of my idea. Or I don't know if I achieved that, but that was kind of my idea. So anyways, um, I think this is really a fun look. So if you like what you see and you want to see how I did it, keep watching. Okay, so let's get started. So I already have my foundation on and what I did was I just put my regular foundation on. Then I took a Ben Nye Color Cake Makeup um, foundation in a really, really pale shade. And you just add water, you can add Fix Plus, um, regular water, charged water, just to a little triangular sponge or a sea sponge and wet the cake and then you can apply it. So what I used this for is I used it as my highlight, just to give that really kind of frozen, chapped, dry kind of look. I also put Too Faced Shadow Insurance on, obviously, and did a little bit of contouring. Now I'm just gonna talk just for a second about the contouring that I did. Um, I just use a regular um, brown um, NARS contour shade, as well as I added um, some of the Makeup Forever dark purple color that I have. And, um, I just did my regular contours, cheekbones, underneath the jawline, around the mouth, um, on the sides of the nose, and a little bit in the temples. And everywhere I put the brown, I would just overlay it with a little bit of the purple. Because I wanted a really like frozen, kind of chiseled kind of look, but still really soft. Um, and then when I was finished, I just set it all with a powder. And the powder I used is um, the Candlelight Powder from Too Faced. Um, it's a real pale, translucent powder with a little bit of a goldish uh, shimmer to it. So first things first, I'm gonna take my NYX Jumbo Pencil and Milk, and I am going to put that all over um, the lid as well as underneath and kind of drag it out just a little bit. So just blend that in. Okay, so that's the basic idea. Okay, next I'm gonna go ahead and put um, some white eyeliner, just a plain, any kind of easy glide on eyeliner that's gonna be safe for the waterline. Okay, next thing I'm just gonna take a fluffy brush, just like this, so like a Sonia Kajic brush. Um, it's really similar to the Max 224. Um, and then I have a Makeup Forever um, color. It's one of their diamond shadows, but it's just the, the silver white. I'm not sure what number it is, but um, I'll put it in the sidebar. So we're gonna take that, load up that fluffy brush, and we're just going to, I'm gonna really pack on everywhere where the white is, pack on with that shadow. Um, this is Sigma, it's similar to the 224 by MAC. And then I'm gonna take my 120 palette, um, and you can really pick whichever color that you think is going to work best if you don't have the 120 palette, which obviously I highly recommend that you get the 120 palette. But if you don't, I'm just going to use like a really light pale pink right here. Um, whoops, excuse me, right here with a shimmer. And I'm just going to put that all along the brow bone and kind of drag it underneath to that corner. 
we're gonna just continue to build on top of this. I'm gonna take a, let's see, a MAC 222 brush, put that um, into the color tracks. And then I'm gonna load that onto my brush. And then I'm going to put that into the crease. Really cut that in the crease and create a nice base for um, the darker color that we're gonna add in a minute. Next, I'm gonna take my 226 brush, my MAC, and then I am going to put in that, uh, in the corner, and really define that outer crease, is this um, purple color, this dark purple matte shade by Makeup Forever. So you're gonna be left with a kind of, the silver in the middle. We want it to have a really dome look to it, so we're gonna keep the highlight right in the center of the eyelid. I'm just going to take now a 224 brush by MAC and the color, I'm just going to use gesso. It's just a matte white and I'm going to do my highlight above my brow bone with that. So next um, I'm going to take my Ben Nye Cream Eyeshadow and um, I'm going to take a concealer brush. I'm going to load that up with the white and I'm just going to paint my eyebrows. So the next step is I'm gonna take, I've got some glitter eyeliner in silver. I told you we're gonna be a glitter fest today. Um, and then I'm gonna put that under my eye and over the eye. And then I'm gonna take a um, 266, just a little eyeliner brush by MAC. And I'm gonna take this dark purple that we've been using from Make It Forever. And I'm gonna just uh, line the top of my lids. So I'm using Tarte's um, uh, cheek stain in flush which is appropriate so you just want it on the apples of the cheek so you can just smile if that gives you a better guideline and just pat that in so now that we're done with that what I want to do is take that same again concealer brush and the white and we're gonna paint that over the black mascara we just put on I know this seems like a lot of weird steps you can always use white mascara if you want I just don't have it and didn't want to go out and buy it special for this when I have this and it works just as well so now that this is um, essentially dry, we need to go ahead and put on our lashes. Okay, so we're finished with the eyes. So the last thing we have to do are the lips and then add the last little bit of sugar. So let's go ahead and first put on our lipstick. I chose to use Max Cyber, which is just a really matte purple. I'm gonna add sugar to a couple of places. I'm gonna add some more sugar. Um, around my nose on this side to match this side and then I'm gonna add some at the bottom of the slip so I'm gonna take again my eyelash adhesive and go along the nose area so then of course take the glitter and press some of that glitter right on top of the sugar see I know it's really hard to see with this camera and I'm sorry maybe you'll be able to see better in the photos but Trust me, this is like the coolest look. I absolutely love this look. It's just really fantastic. So this is the final look. I think it's a really fun look. It's really pretty. It's something that you probably have a lot of this stuff laying around outside of the lashes and the stuff for the hair. But um, it's just real basic products that you can just amp up and make really fun for Halloween. I just want to thank again um, Josh, aka Petri Lude, um, for the inspiration. He just inspires me all the time. So I just really, I saw this last year and I was like, I am going to do that next year because I just thought it was just so much fun. So thank you again for watching and stay tuned. We got some more fun stuff coming up. Thanks. Bye.